<laughs> Snoozer, what are you doing? I'm sitting in the water. What do you mean? Snoozer, you left the water running. You can't do that. Why not? You need to conserve water. This planet only has a limited amount of fresh water. What is fresh water? Fresh water is the kind of water that we can drink. I thought we can drink all water. No, Snoozer. Let me explain. Water is very important. We use water in almost everything we do in life. We use water when we clean, we like to drink water, we use water outside if we're watering the garden or for filling up a pool. Water is one of the most important things in the world, and that's why it's very important to make sure we're only using as much as we need so we can save water for the rest of the world. And we are really lucky because we live near a lot of fresh water. We have the Great Lakes, we have rivers, we have all sorts of fresh water near us. But in other parts of the world, they're not so lucky. In some parts of the world, there is almost no fresh water for people to drink. And because of this, we have to conserve water. And that means only using as much as we have to, so we can save enough water for everybody. Right now, I'm actually going to head over to the school to talk to the kids about conserving water. Say hi to my Earth Buddy. Hi, Earth Buddy. Now, is there a lot of water in the, wor in the world here? Yes. Uh, who thinks there's a lot of water? Who thinks there's just a little bit of water? Is there... all right, now, of all this water, do you think we could drink a lot of this water? No. Now, what's wrong with it? Why can't we drink all the water in the world? Because it's I'll tell you guys, there's something inside of this water that we can't drink. In all the different oceans across the world, there is salt. Did anyone know that? It's called salt water. If the whole world had a whole, if we put all the water in this whole world into this bucket, it would fill it up, right? But if we were to take all that water and dump it into this cup, like this, this is all the water over here. This is all the water we can drink. It's fresh water. Does anyone know what fresh water is? Fresh water is the water we can drink. Can we drink fresh water? Can we drink salt water? No. No. Is all this water in the different parts of the ocean? Is this fresh water or salt water? Salt! All right, and that means we are conserving water. The good news is we're not alone. There are a lot of top companies that are helping conserve water right now. And that's great. When a lot of companies are working together with the community, we can help solve problems a lot faster and with a lot more people. One of my favorite places to get ice cream is Perry's Ice Cream. They're coming up with really cool ways to use less water when they're producing ice cream. Good afternoon and welcome to Perry's Ice Cream. I'm Brian Perry, the Executive Vice President and Chairman of Perry's. I bet you'd like to know how many gallons it takes to make a good ice cream like Perry's. Um, so believe it or not, for every gallon of ice cream we make, it takes two gallons of water to do that. So at Perry's, we make about 10 million gallons a year, and therefore we use about 20 million gallons of water. That's a lot of water. So to be environmentally responsible, we obviously want to cut that water usage as much as we can. So we have gone to what we call a dry floor operation. So when we have a spill on the floor, which occurs while you're making ice cream, instead of washing it down the drain like we used to with high power hoses with a lot of gallons, we now take and squeegee that ice cream up into a bucket and then uh, pass it on to what we call our animal feed uh, farmers and they feed it to animals like pigs uh, for feed. It's always nice to see top companies helping to solve the problem. But what can you do at home to help conserve water? Well, there's actually a lot of cool things you can do. We can take shorter showers, two to three minutes should be enough, and that will help save a lot of water over the course of a year. Also, we can use less water when we're cleaning around the house. And if we're outside filling up a pool or watering the garden, make sure we don't use the hose running too long. Otherwise, we'll be wasting a lot of water that we don't really use. Well, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you talk to your parents about this. I'm sure you guys can come up with a lot of cool things to do as a family to help conserve water. And also, make sure you let your community know about this. There's a lot of awesome things people do as a community to help conserve water. And make sure there's enough water for future generations on the planet. Have a wonderful day.